Hey Ruth here, this is Shoutout Sunday number 11. So we got some new people and some old people, or YouTubers, however you wish to refer to yourself as. And let's go right into the shoutouts and I'll go through the other stuff after I'm done. So, we've got That Nerd, Jeff Kalali, Kalali, maybe? Mm. Uh, Green Collection, June Rivera, Nerd Things, Kid If, Dark Magician 81, Davy Pokey, Joshua George, Toteng Lore, and uh, these people I actually bought uh, Pokemon cards from. And it's uh, Zaba TV, which you uh, should watch, like, because it's awesome. Really funny as well. But, like, it's more of an arty type of thing, but it's really amusing too. But, um, yeah, he's the guy I bought the custom Pokemon cards from. And, uh, his, um, oh, I put it in his video, which you sh should have already seen, because I've uploaded it before this. So, then we've got Lollipop Kids, which I bought a couple of her cards. Um, and also from a Pokemon card shop. Now, this is slightly, uh, isn't a YouTube thing, but it's from a uh, not Amazon. <laughs> uh, Instagram. Yes, that's the word. Instagram. And he got, he's got, like, very good deals. And, like, very good. And stuff. And he's also currently having a giveaway going on, too. Oh, so does Lollipop Kids, by the way. And Zaba TV on Instagram. He's got a, a giveaway going on as well. Um, then, um, very nice friend, Meg's Toy Reviews, sent a lovely card. And that video will also be up sometime in May because I've got a schedule of stuff, um, videos, and the next free slot is the 14th of May. But I guess I could bump down a couple things. Maybe. I guess so. Because, like, I still got the some Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster Packs uh, video that's on the 30th. Then there's the Queen's Beast Coins. And there's some Pokemon Prism Tin for Dustmane. Then there's Legendary Collection Kaiba box for Yu-Gi-Oh! Then there's a Legends of Johto GX Collection box. Then there's a Collector's Chest tin from Chroma Thingy. Then, of course, I haven't edited it yet, but then there's, like, a Build-A-Bear Pokemon video that I totally forgot about because that, that should have gone up around the same time as the Forbidden Planet haul because... I bought it on the same day, but I totally forgot to film it because I left it in a bag and I totally forgot. Then there was, let's see, a Sailor Moon figure opening I recorded and also the another Legends of Johto GX collection box, but the U.S. version. Um, yes, actually, I might have to, I'll probably move the Queen's Beast video down. Since I don't open very many coins, I like to spread them out, you know? And I already did do the, uh, Flopsy Beatrix coin recently, didn't I? So I might shuffle that down a bit. I don't know. It depends, really. Anyway, back to the shout-out thing. If anyone wants a shout-out, please leave a comment below. Um, or you can at least comment on two videos or just comment at least twice between now and the next shout out video, which will be May, uh, the second week of May, obviously, because next week is May, then the week after that. So as you know by now, I do shout out videos every other Sunday. I don't do it every Sunday because otherwise my list would be mega short or no list at all. It really depends. So, yes. Um, well, if you check out my Instagram, I do, uh, I did advertise other people's giveaways too that are purely only on Instagram, I think. 
So check that out if you wish. I believe my Instagram link is below. If not, you can always find it on... What was it again? Um, RJ Miser 1984? Or was that for something else? I get confused sometimes. I have quite a few that are nearly the same, exactly the same, and completely different. And if you're interested in like buying any cards or stuff, then I do have my eBay, which is in the link below as well. Um, most of my YouTube related things are the is a Twitter account and the Google Plus account. I don't really do much YouTube advertising on my Facebook, but that's where I post all of my pictures that I've taken that, like, are, like, from the openings and whatnot. Because I find it easier just putting it on my Facebook album, so just in case if I accidentally delete it, it's still there. Also, Snaps is a good one to get a look at if you're looking at other pictures of, like, you know, from the openings and stuff. But I don't really go on that unless I have something to put up on it. Because I kind of forget about it if I don't use it very much. Um, let's see, was there anything else? Oh, yes. Uh, there is no May Akibento box for me because I am not interested in the majority of what's in it because I don't watch Hero Academia and I don't watch the other one, but the only thing I liked in it was the Assassination Classroom, but getting a box just for one anime is not something that my wallet likes, so I shall be skipping that. And also, obviously, I've skipped the April, which was themed Fabled, because I didn't really like the stuff in it, the, the anime themed in it, or if I did, I would have liked one. So, but normally, they at least, they used to actually have more than three anime in it. It used to be at least four, or five, but uh, this time, they only advertised three different anime, so, and only liking one out of three is not a good reason to buy it. So, unfortunately, that shall not be bought this time. The uh, loot uh, Wizarding World crate is still going on, as obviously. And I actually bought a new one. It's like loot bundle or loot something or other. Um, I'll put that video up when it actually comes up, or arrives. It hasn't arrived yet, obviously. And that was like 30 pounds-ish? Or 29. But that's around the same thing anyway. But, uh, yeah. That was a new thing. I still have to get, figure out what's a good Pokemon mystery box. Because obviously the Poke block is like not have anything done with it and like I've still got three boxes I paid for which I never got so that kind of still <clears throat> it's annoying and like ordered something else from those people and they have not replied and their website is down and total total <sighs> really annoying sometimes I think I like or something because like in total maybe like each box is $16.95 and that I'm missing three months worth of boxes which is three boxes plus a playmat I ordered which is like 11 something <clears throat> yeah totally not cool um Let's see, I guess I could do a top dex crate or a, mm, I don't know. So I was thinking about the uh, rare candy box and the uh, Pokemon, but their postage, since they're based in the US, is like more than the actual product. And I don't tend to buy things if their postage is more than the product because that's just not happening. Wow, I've been rambling on for a long time and this is my second take actually doing this okay so um you will see sometime a picture of a code that i got from the pokemon newsletter 
which will be for the online TCG game. So uh, have a whack at it. I know I did put it on the end of the Pokemon Go Community Day number 5 video, but if you missed it, it is on here. So uh, thank you for listening. Like us out for more. Over and out.